everypony, it's Cleo here, and today I'm going to be unboxing and reviewing yet another little baby sea pony. Now, I originally got this sea pony in a swap box at Christmas time, so if you want to see that video, it's in the top right corner. Anyway, this adorable little dumpling is called Sea Poppy, which is a nice name because I don't think there are any other G4 ponies with the name Poppy. There's a very adorable little picture of her in the corner here. Look how cute it is. I love these little faces. She's, of course, from the My Little Ponies and Movie toy line. And there's just the cutest little picture of her on the back here. Look at it. Look at it. Look at it. I absolutely love these illustrations. And just look how pretty the background is. Oh, it's gorgeous. Along the top here, we have more different sea ponies. And there's a holographic sticker of authenticity. Which doesn't really do anything, but it looks quite cool. Anyway, we've looked at the packaging enough now, so let's get her out of here. It does that every time. Every single time. And I've opened a lot of these now. Ta-da! And here's Sea Poppy and all of her accessories out of the packaging. Now first I have to look over the accessories and then we're going to look at the pony. First of all, the set includes this pretty little aqua blue fish. I love how many little details there are on the fins here. Look at all those little wiggles. She's got really big, pretty almond-shaped eyes and I think this looks really cute as an extra little pet friend. The art style matches quite nicely with the ponies too. I love the colour. She also comes with this little yellow starfish. It's got extra starfishy details on it, if you will. And it's also got a suction cup on the background, so it should stick to flat surfaces. And even my hand in this case, so that works pretty well. I like the colour, nice and golden. The set also includes this really pretty turquoise colour bubbly looking shell, which has a slightly metallic purple gradient paint going at the bottom of it, which looks really pretty. I love those colours together. Of course, this also has a suction cup on it. So once again, it should stick to flat surfaces. And it does, it even sticks to my hand, so that's pretty good. They don't always stick, you see. The material of it is, surprisingly enough, quite squishy. I expect it to be hard, but all of these shells, as it turns out, are soft and squidgy. Lastly, we have the beautiful Sea Poppy herself. Let's give her a little twirl. Now, as you can very clearly see, she's a very beautiful, bright white colour, not even slightly grey, just pure white. And she's got very kind of cool, bright pink fins, very lipstick colour, I would say. Her fin do, once again, if you will, is kind of squared off and cubish around the edge, which I think looks really cute. She's got little fins for ears, another little fin on her back, and then her tail fin curls around under itself, which is also a really nice touch, instead of just being flat. Her eyes are a really pretty sky blue. She's got the cutest little fins instead of hooves. Look at that little detail there. She's so cute. And her head is on a ball joint so it can go up and down, side to side, and even all the way around if you wanted to. Now, I don't think I've mentioned this before in my other sea pony reviews, but the tails are actually all slightly flexible so they don't just snap off. So once again, that's quite good. It's also detailed on the other side, which is nice. Now, unfortunately, there are all the codes on the back here and the year and the country it's manufactured in, so it's kind of an odd place to have them, but I can get over that. All in all, she does look really cute, but the same with all the other baby sea ponies, she has a little bit of a problem. When you turn her around to face the camera, you can see her eyes are looking in opposite directions, which looks a little strange. Maybe you're best displaying them like that. And of course, she's supposed to fit inside the shell here, and that's supposed to stick onto something, which doesn't always work so well, but let's try it here. Okay, she does sort of fit in, sort of, kind of. Now let's try her on a flat surface. Now then, here's just some flat plastic I have from another toy I've opened. Let's see if it'll stick and stay on. Okay, well, it does work. That's something, isn't it? Because they don't always, but it will take the weight, although the shape of it doesn't really suit this sea pony. She won't really sit in it properly, as you can see. It's just a bit awkward looking, but close enough. Now, before I end this review, I want to say... This pony looks remarkably similar to another pony, remarkably similar to... Dun dun dun! Rarity Baby! And if you don't know what I'm talking about, you can check out the video in the corner right now. Now, these two sea ponies are in exactly the same mold, and to me, look like a perfect pair of beautiful baby twins. They're both the same beautiful bright white, and one of them has blue fins, and one of them pink fins, so one could be like the boy twin, and the other like girl, and that'd be really cute, wouldn't it? To have them like twins, and I think I shall make them twins. I think this one is called Ocean Gem, it's Ocean something, I can't quite remember, but it should be on screen right now if I'm right, or wrong. I kind of wish this one had pink eyes to match even better, but the lilac is close enough to the pink here, because her eyes match his fins perfectly, look. They're just perfect together. 
Some people might be a little disappointed by how similar these two are, but I think they're perfect together. Just look. I really like that I can make them twins. Maybe they could be a couple of cheeky little chipmunks together. I think they could be quite good characters together. And I've also noticed just how well Diamond Rose matches little sea poppy here. Look at them together. They match. They've got the same bright blue eyes, a similar sort of pink in their manes and fins, I suppose. And they're both a really bright white. So what do you think? Do you think these two are twins? Do you think they have any relation to Diamond Rose? What's the story behind it? Let me know in the comments. And of course, if you enjoyed this video, don't forget to give it a like and subscribe for lots of fun new videos every week. Thanks for watching.